Hey there friends, welcome back to another video. We're gonna kick off our tours with my good friend Sunny Ann and we're gonna tour a beach house that she's built here in Paleo with the building blocks. When I first started seeing this project come together, I was like, holy crap, this is amazing. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm impressed anyway because I'm having a horrific time with the building blocks. Um, I am frustrated by their limitations and I just want something to do something the way that I wanted to do it without having to like flip it all around and do the things. Uh, but Sunny has done an amazing job here building this beach house off uh, the grid. This is out of bounds. Um, she built this whole thing out of bounds, which again blows my mind. <laughs> Um, I really thought it had a very cool sort of rustic feel about it. Um, you know, some beach houses, beach shacks, you know, uh, they're not super fancy, but she's got little clips of uh, copper here and there. And you know, it's, it's, it's furnished in such a homey way. Um, I really like what she did with the bathroom here. And if you'll take a look, she has a doorknob y'all and it's a Christmas ornament during the Christmas season when we were able to buy Christmas trees and things like that. Um, she used the Christmas ornament as a door knob, and I thought that was genius. Absolutely genius. She's got this little cubby back here. You know, really used the space very well. Made it look really amazing. Um, I'm still in awe of all the things she was able to do here and not want to throw her computer right out the window. Anybody who does these kinds of builds, I'm just blown away. I have so many frustrations about what I want to do architecturally and I'm just limited by the way the game mechanics work um, so those of you who have the patience to do this amazing um, I love how she made this railing taking the wooden pillars and just you know, stacking them together like that and then turning them on their side um, and then using the butcher block uh, pieces as stairs a thin staircase so I really love that I love she made this little rooftop loungy area um, absolutely delightful i'd totally hang out here i don't know about the rest of y'all i like this open roof concept too um it really kind of fits the vibe of being at the beach this skin is also just an amazing paleo skin for your housing plot you can purchase this through the paleo store i'm buying some paleo coins and um, you can really customize the look of all of your housing plots with these kinds of things she did an amazing job i love this outdoor seating area out here it's one of my favorite little spaces I am so sorry about the herky-jerky camera motions here. It's either my settings and key bindings, or um, I'm just not a very good filmographer. We'll go with either one. You pick. Look at how she used those mirrors as windows, you guys. And I love how she put those lights on top of the pillars. Just 10 out of 10, great decoration. And here we are at nighttime. I wanted y'all to see it kind of lit up at night. You got that moon hanging in the background back there. Very, very um, ambient laden. I don't know if that's a word, but we're gonna go with it. Anyway, uh, it's got a really soft light uh, features here. And I just wanna do a quick run through here at nighttime. You know, it doesn't get super dark in Paleo, but uh, the lighting definitely pops a little bit more this time of day. And I thought, well, I'll take everybody through one more time and take a look at all of her little details here and there. I like that this is just not laden with stuff. Um, she, it's it's got stuff, but it's simple in its decorating and it really appeals to my sort of clean more um, sleek way of having things and not having just a million things fluttering all over the place and there's no shade to anybody who likes that um, it's just not my style and I really like the way she did this um, so here we are she's built this little shack this little sushi shack if I can say that without tripping over my words uh, to encompass her shipping bin and her mailbox and make that a little bit more appealing I really love this I've seen a lot of people doing these and this one's fantastic um, I know another one Januki she's done one very similar I don't know that she incorporated her shipping bin in hers um, but I love this because it looks like a freezer you'd be pulling fish out of or some kind of you know refrigerated chest of some kind it's just all the little details she did here just really kind of round out that whole like beach vibe right you know you're at the beach and you're you know gonna stop and get some fish and chips or something <laughs> and she's even got this little seating area on the back she's got all of the new uh, beach towels on display laying out here she was like I didn't really clean up for company I hope that's okay and I was like you know what um, this is real life this is how everybody's plots are they've got stuff everywhere <laughs> 
Um, I'm really still wanting that makeshift um, archway there, and I am very sad that I still don't have it. Now this uh, that we're kind of walk on just really quickly is the start of her bar boardwalk, and um, she's already reached the building block limit of a thousand pieces. And these little areas that you see on to the right or the left that are kind of encased look at that, look at that circle she did um, are going to be little like vending stalls if they ever up the number of building blocks. And she said she may tear this all down and redo it um, with something else. And um, this wasn't finished, but I was just going to show you kind of the start of what she's got going on. Maybe if she redoes some things or redesigns it, we'll have to come back and take a look. But I thought this was brilliant. You know, boardwalk area at the beach and having little bit like little market stall areas. But I'm sure the frustration is great when you reach your limit. So she's the, she's taking a break for now on this particular plot. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, more tours to come. Uh, you guys be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and I'll see y'all in the next one.